fluff, no ads, no lies. At the Breach Outreach, we only broadcast the truth. Salt Town has reported record profits for the third year in a row. This in spite of the salt mine's yield being at a record low. This, along with mounting evidence of worker abuse and discontent, has led many to question the continued viability of the settlement. When asked about these concerns, the foreman had our reporters thrown out of town. That's all for now. We'll be back soon. Oh, this is the shop. Your source of unbiased news. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice. Mm -hmm. This is a nice little shop. We got some small salt bags. Lots of salt, 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 salt. It's <laughs> just nothing but salt. <laughs> okay, this is all salt. Excellent. Hello. You've come to the right place. Have I? If you're looking for the finest in military arms, ammunition or explosives, or anything in between, Salt Town can provide. If you have the caps. I probably have the caps. I'm looking to buy. Okay, you have nothing I want. Well, you got some ammo. Maybe you have some ammo I'll need. What do you do, other than run the store? I'm a purveyor of the highest grade equipment in the entire frontier. My weapons are hand checked by me, and are sold at reasonable prices. Uh huh. Each weapon comes with a guarantee to kill. If it doesn't kill, you can bring it back to me, and I'll repair it. Assuming you have the caps. What about this boxing tape? I want my money back. <laughs> also, why do you have like seven belts of <laughs> 308 on you? Because that's gotta get real heavy, man. I need to go. Thank you for shopping. Uh-huh. Come again soon. You got a lot of salt. Yes. It is so much frickin' salt. Oh, uh, hello? Please be okay, Annie. Oh, sorry. Did you need something? Who the hell is Annie? Oh, you heard that. Yeah. She's my... partner. She's trapped inside the mine, but no one is willing to go down and find her. Oh. Oh, uh, a, a cave-in? Including me. See you later. <laughs> what a dick move. <laughs> no, Tons, tell me what happened. You actually want to know? Yeah. Well, it started like any other day. Only we were working in a wing that had been closed off a few years ago. See, the toxic waste that turned us into ghouls also mutated the ants living in the cave. They became gigantic, and they gained a taste for human flesh. Oh, cannibal ants! The foreman, the first foreman, had the idea to shove the waste barrels into the ant mounds. Then we closed off the wing and weighed them out. That worked, or we thought it did, until now. Uh, Turns out the ants were still there. The only difference was that they were glowing now. Most of us managed to get away, but Annie, she stayed behind to cover us. She still hasn't come out. You just gotta go to the entrance of the tunnel and yell down there, Annie, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay, Annie? Have you been struck by a smooth criminal? <laughs> that didn't have anything to do with what I said. <laughs> the foreman hasn't sent anybody to save her? Why would he? To him, there's no point in sending guards down there to rescue one miner. We're meant to be disposable. And you haven't gone down because... Because the foreman made it clear that no one is allowed in that wing till the mercs he hired showed up. But it'll take too long for them to get here. Annie doesn't have that much time. Is she your wife? Oh, and uh, no, no, she's not. The foreman is strictly forbidden romantic relationships between minors. Goodness gracious. We're just good friends, that's all. Oh, yeah, all right. This place sucks. <laughs> all right, we'll go find her. I don't know what to say. Uh, thank you. And good luck. To the mine! Oh, how dangerous can one mine be? You're serious. <laughs> Dude. You don't, you don't go in there. You'll be fine. <laughs> All right. Sounds good. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad we're going into the salt mine because the pepper mines make me sneeze. Ah. Stop. In the name of love, <clears throat> before you break my heart. Ooh. Check out the chasm. That is a chasm. That's pretty large, spacious. Hello? Hello? Shouldn't you be working? Wait, you're a visitor. What are you doing in the mine? Mind my own business, like you should be. <laughs> well, fine. Just make sure that's all you're doing. If you don't have any questions, I have work to do. No, I have some questions. Not that one. <laughs> 
Uh, you a miner or a guard? Neither. I'm an overseer. That means I handle day-to-day -day operations inside the mine. I also make sure everyone follows the foreman's laws to the letter. No exceptions, no compromise. Uh, what kind of laws? Simple stuff, mostly. Don't leave town. Don't sleep in the mine. Don't go over the allotted time for lunch. No friends outside of town. No romantic relationships. Ugh. That kind of thing. What's your problem with romance? You're just jealous because you ain't got no junk? <laughs> mine work requires focus and discipline. Relationships, romantic or otherwise, are just a distraction. What if people are distracted by the raging boners? That's a problem, too. Yeah, please tell me that you at least allow people to, you know, have private time. Okay, fine. Don't answer my question. How'd you become overseer? It wasn't easy. I had to work hard to get where I am. Most people don't understand that. Had to beat a lot of miners. I've been a miner all my life. Even before I was a ghoul. After the bombs fell, I convinced the others to rebuild the outpost into a town. Things were going well, until the others voted to install the first foreman as leader instead of me. He was too soft. Too easy on the workers. Uh -huh. He let opportunities pass him by because they weren't right for the town. Mm -hmm. I was happy when he croaked. Jeez. When the new foreman took over, he made us a trading power practically overnight. The miners didn't care, though. They hated him because he wasn't nice. Gotta find that right balance. A group of miners led by one John Henry wanted to unite us into some kind of union so we could limit the foreman's power. Oh no, not unions. I told the foreman what Henry was planning as soon as I caught wind of it. I'm sure you did, Snitch. Within a day... Henry was dead, his rebellion was squashed, and I was promoted to Overseer. Ah, the old world is back again. Ah, you must be really popular around here. Truth be told, I don't care if I'm popular, or even if people like me. I'm not here to make friends. At the end of the day, I get the job done, and that's what's important. Maintaining Salt Town's level of success requires hard work, long hours... Sacrifice. Salt. But the miners don't care. They're unwilling to make that sacrifice. It was the same before the war, too. Some things just never change. Hey, look at this transaction note we found. Sure would be a shame if we already reported you to the foreman. What the hell? Where did you get that? Don't worry about it. You want caps, right? I can give you caps. Just hand it over. So you've been sending salt to Danny, huh? I've got debts, all right. The foreman pays me well, but not well enough. So I send a little salt to Danny every now and then. It's not like he's getting the good stuff. I only send him bad batches. I don't even think Danny realizes he's selling his customers poison. So you're not getting paid enough by the foreman, hmm? Sounds like maybe you should unionize. Oh, wait, no, never mind. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. You killed the last guy that tried to unionize. You know what? I think I'll hold on to this for a while. Bastard! <laughs> they let them listen to Breach Outreach, though. Oh, I can't believe they get service down here. Someone should turn this thing off. <laughs> I am the OSHA supervisor, and I do not approve of this. Oh, you know what? That's just the rock tumbler. <laughs> it's a grinding wheel. Uh, it's probably this place with all the ant bones. Oh, I didn't even notice. <laughs> yes, not very perceptive. Woo, ants! A cannibal ant, no! They're not cannibals, they're just killer. They're cannibals because they're eating people. That doesn't make them cannibals if they're eating other ants. Why can't we just ever talk things out? Was... It's an ant, Donovan. You can't talk things out with an ant. <laughs> Genius. <laughs> Man, these guys must really suck if they couldn't handle this. Tally ho, ants gotta go! Creeper crawlies, not in my cave! Carapace, I'll take care of this! Ding dong! Your ass is Nicely dead. done! <laughs> you did good! That was a good line, Jolene. I like that one. 
Screw the foreman! Annie. Oh, she was alive for at least a little bit. We've been pushing deeper into the mine lately. A lot deeper than we ever thought we would. The foreman is passing it off as a grand exploration, but I think he's just worried about the mine running dry. He doesn't have to worry, at least not yet. The places we're mining now are full to the brim with salt. It would take massive unchecked over mining to deplete the mine, and I know the foreman is smart enough to avoid that. Definitely. Ant yeah, problem. I'm glad I was able to get the terminal back online, otherwise I'd have to keep using scrap paper to write down my notes. I feel bad for the poor schmuck who used this thing. I doubt he had a pleasant death. The first foreman's plans to kill the ants didn't work. In fact, it kind of backfired spectacularly. It seems exposure to more radiation just made them tougher to kill. I know what the foreman's gonna do. He's gonna hire some mercs to get rid of the ants, but that's not gonna be enough. The mercs will just sweep a few hallways and leave it at that. As long as the queen is alive, as long as the queen's eggs are alive, more ants will just pop up. If we don't stop them, they'll get out of the cave and destroy the town. Since everyone else, including Price, left, I guess it's up to me. Message to Price. Hi, honey. Sorry I couldn't give this to you in person, but this note wasn't made for that eventuality. If I die down here, I want you to know I don't blame you for running. You did the smart thing, and I'm glad you're okay. I love you, Price, you coward, from the bottom of my heart. And though we've had to marry in secret, I wouldn't do anything different. Oh, I probably shouldn't have written that down. He already knew we were married. That's just incriminating evidence, and I'm stupid. <laughs> Not a smart move. Ooh, that one's really big. Nibbles! That was, uh... It was named Nibbles. He was substantially girthy. Ooh, a dead big horner. Mm. And Nibbles' his friend, and his spouse. Ah, fuck! <laughs> a dead ghoul? No, he's <laughs> a member of the- How did the Bright Brotherhood make it all the way here? <laughs> they get around. <laughs> Goodness! Mm. Oh, a key. Section 14B! Oh good, Sector 14B! Those ants sure are stupid. That dumb queen bitch ant has made her nest above all our mind charges. Stupid ants. Stupid, stupid! Now Angelo just has to get into range and those ants will be gone. Done so, Kaputski. Hopefully, he doesn't try to go up to the balcony overlooking the nest. They'll know he's there and will come to pieces. He's not that stupid though, right? Right? He is. Nah. I don't know what CHB is. Uh, is that an acronym for something? I don't know, it's just CHB. Ah! <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. It's just spitting at us. Get oh, gross. Oh, I'm covered in ant spit. <laughs> oh, they were little grenade shotgun shells. Grenade. Oh, is that what you were firing at them? Yeah! Okay. See? So that's why, oh, 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 that's cool! Yeah! Do it again, do it again, do it again! Oh, I only got one left, but, Aww. okay, okay, one more. Yay! All right, next. Hmm, well, we probably should find Annie before we go blowing everything up. Uh, if Annie were alive, she probably would have destroyed these eggs, right? Uh, she might be stuck somewhere. Maybe she got bit in the leg. Maybe she got bit in two and is now a pile of organs here. Well, we won't know until we find her. I think I found her organs. Dead end. Let's try that one. Oh, is this Annie? Uh, yep, that's Annie. Annie's dead. Ah, uh, dang it. Well, we gotta blow up the nest, though, remember? Do we? Well, I think we probably should. I mean, the ants are just gonna keep coming back if we don't. As the ants came into the window was the sound of a crescendo. They came into our apartment. They were biting us bloodstains on the carpet. <laughs> just kill ants. Kill, kill ants. ants. Don't you let them crawl up your pants. I don't want Check to set map. the world on fire. Or do I? I just want to shoot the ant in your heart. Uh, that was, oh god, that was so <laughs> off key. I'm sorry, I apologize. That sounded fine to me. Hmm. Radioactivity, it looks like. Oh, wait, wait. Yay, detonator time. Hooray! Is the ant queen dead? Eh, what a turkey shoot this is, like fish in a barrel. Woo! Oh yeah, the ant queen is dead. Look at that. Oh, yep. Is he even here anymore? Where'd he go? He was here, wasn't he? I don't know. Oh, I no, he's... Blah! <laughs> Fuck! Oh my god, I thought I fell all the way fucking down. A... I tripped on nothing! Yeah. Psst, hey. Before you go, I need to ask you something. Huh? Do you believe in 
freedom. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Everyone should have the freedom to follow Kaisar. <laughs> <laughs> then prove it. A miner named Hawkins is being held in the trading hall for questioning. If you truly believe in freedom, then you'll help him escape. We won't talk again until it's over. Okay, man, people just keep asking me to do stuff. Why do they expect you to be capable? Yeah, right? Why am I the one that has to do everything? Why can't one of them do it? Nope. Hey, bad news. Oh, you're back. I'm surprised you're talking to us. Most people just ignore us. We aren't supposed to talk to visitors. Another one of the foreman's rules. Well, thank you for flaunting that rule. By the way, we found Annie. You did? Where is she? Oh. She did. Well, at least I know. Yup. Here. It's not much, but it's everything I have. Thanks for the help. Not many people would have stepped up like this. And it's nothing. We killed all the ants in the cave. Annie, your wife, made that possible. That sounds like her. Always the problem solver she was. You did a good thing. Save some lives. Also, I know that you two are in a relationship. We were, but what does it matter now? My wife is dead. Hmm. You can keep this nothing. You probably need it more than me. You're a saint. You really are. I wish someone like you was in charge. I could be. <laughs> Give us time. Yes. <laughs> I was breathing too much cave dust. I'm sorry. I. I. I, 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 oh, I, God I, damn it! It's the fucking, it's the Lost comic! <laughs> <laughs> nice.